In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, interpreting and analyzing data. And first of all, a couple of definitions. Uh, primary data is data that the researcher or you collect yourself. So if you're actually going out and asking people questions, giving them surveys, or measuring something, then you're collecting primary data. Secondary data is data that someone else collected for you. Uh, you had someone go out do a survey for you or uh, you got the results of a survey someone completed maybe a while ago, or you went online, or you went to a, a site like Statistics Canada and got some data that someone else collected. That's all secondary data. Now microdata is data from one respondent. So let's say you're giving a survey to a number of people, and let's say it has 20 questions on it. Uh, the answers from uh, one particular person to all 20 of those questions would be the microdata for that particular person. Once all of the data has been grouped together and summarized, it's called aggregate data. And, in, and when it's aggregate data, then the microda microdata can no longer be seen. You can't see individual responses because it's all uh, in a summarized form. Now I'm going to flip over. Uh, this is some uh, data I got from Statistics Canada. And it has to do with average hourly wages of employees um, in a whole bunch of different categories. Uh, for September 2014 and September 2015 and of course it's for Canada now there's notice there's nothing across the uh, the bar at the top here because it just breaks down to different categories 15 years is old and older is of course all all these age categories together so if I added the uh, 15 to 24 the 25 to 50 and the 55 and over if I added this number this number and this number I would get the 15 15 uh, comma 19460. This is actually in, in, in thousands, so it actually means 15 million 194,600 people. So uh, I did some grouping. I'm going to take a look at a few uh, charts. So once again, here flip over to this page here. So there's the wages 2014 and 15. So notice the Canada, there's nothing in that Canada row. So that's why there's no bars above the Canada. And the 15, year, 15 years and over is all of this one and this one and this one put together. So it's an average of all three of those. Notice that the 15 to 20, so we're analyzing data. Notice one thing that, that hits me in this graph is that the 15 to 24 is of course the lowest. And the average wage there is a little below $15. It did rise a little bit from 2014, the blue, to 2015, the red. Uh, but it's still the lowest. And, of course, that's because a lot of people 15 to 24 would probably be part-time workers, maybe earning student wage, which would be lower than the wage people who are older would be earning. Not always, but often. That's why that is lower. In fact, it's significantly lower than, for example, the 25 to 54. The 25 to 54 category, they make quite a bit more. So we're talking about a little under $15 to maybe $26 or $27 an hour. So considerably higher. Notice there is a little bit of dip between the 25 to 54 and then the 55 and over. So it goes down slightly. So basically, this is your senior citizens working, so 55 and over. Uh, breaks down in men and women. I noticed the gender difference. Uh, men still do earn more than women. I'm not saying that's right or wrong, but uh, that's what the stats, the statistics tell me. Um, and of course, uh, uh, we can also. I also have the full-time and part-time workers. And you would expect probably people earning um, are working full-time to making be making a higher hourly wage than part-time. Again, part-time would probably include a lot of these 15 to 24 people as well. So notice those wages aren't too much higher than these. Uh, I also broke it down uh, by, um, if you remember from the chart two pages ago, uh, all the different uh, uh, occupations that were listed below the uh, permanent and temporary jobs. So uh, this was management occupations, and notice that that's the highest of all of them. Okay, Management actually took a slight dip. They were making over $40 an hour, and it went down to about $40 an hour. And in fact, uh, this was $40.66, and it went down to $39.71. So it did go down slightly, actually, while most, most of the other ones rose. Actually, every single other one rose. Um, Another higher category is, for example, the uh, uh, natural and applied sciences and related occupations. That's the second highest one. Uh, 
Uh, one of the lowest ones is this one right here, and that's uh, sales and service occupations. So that's people, for example, working in fast food or restaurants, for example, uh, in sales and service. So um, that is the lowest of the categories. So so I'm, I'm noticing that that's the lowest and the higher ones. Notice the higher ones are people that probably have more of a technical skill. So managers, applied and uh, natural and applied sciences, for example. Um, health is one of the higher ones. This is health occupation, so people working in the health field. Um, and the one after it is occupations in social science, education, government service, and religion. That's all grouped together here. That's one of the actually that's the uh, third highest of all of them. So that's those are some uh, comments that I would make about that in particular data. Uh, a lot of data you can get from uh, in Canada from Statistics Canada. Uh, they collect data all the time. They perform census every few years. Uh, and you can get a lot of data from their particular site. I did mention that I was going to I'll stop my uh, PowerPoint here. Uh, I did mention that I was going to uh, uh, talk about Excel a little bit. This is the Excel sheet uh, that I had uh, made the, those couple of graphs. So if I want to uh, display this data, I could, um, and the, if I remember correctly what was on the first graph, and I'm going to hold my, and I, I'm operating in, uh, in Windows here. Um, yeah, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight all of this, and I'm holding the control key down, so I'm gonna highlight this as well, and then we'll do the hourly wage for September 2015 also. So I've got three different columns highlighted, so I'm gonna go to in insert a column, and I'm gonna pick this one, and so that's how I could get that same graph that I had earlier. Now, if you want to um, make it look a little nicer, I, I've got the graph highlighted. If you go to um, Layout and the Chart Title, that's how you can uh, uh, put in the uh, title. Notice that it's uh, coming up in the uh, bar here. And as soon as I hit enter, it's on the chart. Now, uh, on the side here, again, chart highlighted. Uh, this is an axis title, so it's a vertical. And rotated means that uh, it would actually be parallel to the axis. Uh, vertical means you could actually read it. You could read it up and down. So I think I had uh, hourly wage in dollars, something like that. I hit enter. Okay, so that's the kind of thing there. So uh, that's how you can actually uh, put uh, axis titles, titles on the graph. So that's how you can actually draw a bar graph, those same graphs that I had in the PowerPoint. And, uh, and that's the end of the video.